Dean. Laura Dean, Basti Dean. Second place, the champion, Petsecchi on row five. Lopez, Fabio the Gian Antonio with a lot of work to do from 17th. His worst qualifying. Six with John McPhee just behind him. Row seven, led by Jaume Massia, Lorenzo Della Porta. Five ahead of Celestino Vietti, who continues to replace the injured Nicolo Bulliga. Yari Montella in for the absent Nicolo Antonelli. Atherat Pupa, Andrei Migno, and the champion They complete the slightly depleted 27 rider field here this weekend, of course, with uh, Kazuki Masaki on the RBA Racing KTM sideline with that broken hand injury he suffered yesterday. Jorge Martin, eight podiums, six wins this year. Bezeki, ten podiums, three wins. Does Martin make it lucky number seven? and establish a bigger lead in this World Championship. There are three to go as they run away. Let's quickly drop down to Simon before the start of the race. Any news on the tyre front, uh, Simon? Yes, and it's very easy. Everybody on the medium front, everybody on the medium rear. Well, we haven't got any problems there then. Uh, we like it when it's like that. It's all just down to rider talent. Who's big and brave here in Phillip Island? He's a bit in the wind here at Phillip Island. It's not as brief as it was. <laughs> Popping out to say hello at this moment as we look here and ride on board with Anaya Bastianini, the Leopard Honda riders. Not a great day at the office yesterday. Anaya Bastianini starting in 14th, and Lorenzo Dallaporto is in great form in terms of race trip, starting in 20th. So they've got work to do from way back on the grid. Yeah, Bastianini, the 20 year old Italian. <laughs> as well on Australian soil. His fifth place here last year. It was only four tenths of a second of the victory. But he four visits to this famous Philip Island circuit. Of course, he was hit in that multi-rider pile-up early on in 2016 by Hoy Navarro down at turn number 10. Suffered a broken vertebra. He was replaced, of course, that day by a man who's on the front row today, Ayumu Sasaki. Petsaki, part of the VR46 Academy. Martin riding solo. He said back in Japan that he felt like he was going to be up on by the VR46 Academy riders. Can Marco Bezzecchi's friends help him out here today? There are the championship standings on your screen. One point separating Martin and Bezzecchi with the Gian Antonio in third. 29. Come by VR46 Academy. Can he go gangbusters at the start of this race and break the slipstream? That's going to be the key factor we heard from Jakob Kornfarb. We've seen it so many times down the years here in Moto3. Cash your minds back, the local fans here in Australia. <laughs> Jack Miller in 2014 crossing the line in an epic battle. The top six by just two tenths of a second. Are we set for another Island Classic? The man himself, Miller, on pit wall, ready to start. Or ready to watch the start of this Moto3 race as the riders make their way onto the grid. A 23 lap race coming up for the lightweight class. This championship goes to see no matter what. Who goes there with the advantage? Martin on pole, Binder second, Sasaki third. We look to the left, the top corner. Out they go. Good start there from Jorge Martin on pole position. He will surely get into turn one here. Though, getting into the slipstream and using the power of that KTM, Binder and Sasaki tried to get past and Rodrigo flying through from the second row to take the lead. Rodrigo got the perfect launch from that second row. He got the absolutely to perfection, did Rodrigo. He sweeps into first place and in the southern loop.